In the last few videos, we've been talking about tonal synthesis, defining some of the generic circuits that a modern digital synthesizer uses to create musical tones, like the DCO, DCA, DCW, LFO, and the effects processors. In the last video you saw, we demoed one of the easiest types of synthesis to understand, additive synthesis. That's the type that adds a number of integer-related frequencies, sometimes as many as 10 or 12, together in various strengths to create a complex waveform that we hear as a particular instrumental timbre. You can have a lot of fun creating useful sounds with additive synthesis. Let me show you a way of creating your own additive synthesis tones using an audio editing program called Audacity. Audacity is a free public domain program that you can download from the web. It's made for multi-track recording and editing, but you can use it to generate tones too in a variety of ways. Watch this demo carefully and then set aside some time. Open up Audacity on your own machine and use it to build your own additive synthesis sounds, sounds like nobody's ever heard before. You might want to use your creations in your next class project. You can open Audacity from your dock at the bottom of the screen by clicking on this icon. The program looks like this. Go to the Generate menu and choose Tone. Since we want to add a bunch of pure one frequency tones together, choose the sine waveform. Sine waves contain only one frequency. And take an easy frequency of, say, 200 hertz. That's kind of a trombone range, but it'll make it easier to figure out the rest of the harmonics 200, 400, 600, 800, and so on. Choose an amplitude of 0.64. Anything higher than that will risk distortion as you add more harmonics. Choose a time of 5 seconds. You won't need any more than that to make an impression with your sound. Now, use the magnifying glass with the plus in it to zoom down to the wave level just to prove that you really did make a single frequency sine wave. Notice all those little dots? that signify where the actual numerical samples are being created to digitally define the waveform. Okay, now use the minus glass to zoom back out. Go ahead and play your wave. Either click on the green play button or simply press your computer spacebar. It should sound pretty plain and boring. Okay. Now let's add the second harmonic. Click on a blank area so that you'll build the new harmonic on a new track. Choose Tone from the Generate menu and double the fundamental frequency of 200 to 400. And change the 0.64 to 0.32 because the higher the harmonic, the less power it normally has in the real world. Click the Generate Tone button. You can test the new timbre already. Just press Command-A to select all the tracks, and then press the spacebar to play it. You can mute or solo either track by clicking on the Mute or Solo button in the track header, just like you could do with GarageBand. Just be sure to deselect all these buttons before going on. Now let's add the third harmonic. Click in the blank area so that you'll create a new track for your next harmonic. Choose Tone from the Generate menu. And this time triple the fundamental 200 frequency to 600. Change the 0.32 to 0.16 because you want to give each higher harmonic less power. And then click on the Generate Tone button. You can test it if you want to, but I'm going to add a few more harmonics right now to save time. You notice that I'm running out of space for the tracks. No problem. 
just drag up between the track to make them appear smaller. It doesn't change their amplitude, it just frees up more space. Okay, same procedure. Click on an open space to deselect any selected tracks. Generate tone, 4 times 200, 0 0.08, not 0 0.8, but 0 0.08 is half of 0 0.16, and then click the button. Here comes the fifth harmonic. Click the open space, generate tone, 5 times 200, which is 1,000, and 0 0.04. Let's add one more. Click the open space, generate tone, 6 times 200, which is 1,200, and 0 0.02. Yeah, I know that last one doesn't look like much, but if you zoom in, you'll see that there really is a wave there. It's just really fast and pretty quiet. Now you could also mix all the tracks down to a single track to view the sawtooth waveform you're hearing. Command A, and then choose Project Quick Mix to check it out. Then press Command Z to get back to the previous six tracks. Because now the fun begins by implementing the DCA and DCW effects. Zoom out so you can see everything. Click on the Fundamental Tracks header to choose the entire wave. Then choose Effect Fade Out. Select the first half of the second harmonic. Choose Effect Fade In. And then choose the track header for the third harmonic and choose Effect Fade In again. Let's play it. Command A and press the space bar. Now you hear the tone evolves, almost like you were pronouncing a vowel. Try using the envelope tool to create more interesting shapes to any wave. You can also use any of the effects on a single track, or you can quick mix all the tracks and then add pitch changes and other weird effects. Have fun! and we'll see you in the next video on other forms of synthesis.